All right, you guys, so I took some time to fill out my data table as well from the different things I saw happening. Um, the calcium chloride and sodium carbonate, I also just wanted to take a second to show you guys what it is looking like as I have let it sit. So you might notice there's really a ton of white powder collecting at the bottom of the container. So really, it seems like something new was made there. So that's really interesting. Um, and so if we're looking at our data table, I'm noticing that to me, it really seems like something new was made in our first two reactions. In the first reaction, we went from these colorless liquids to this liquid turning almost a milky white color as soon as these two things were touching. We also saw a powder coming out of the substance, which we didn't have at the start. In our second reaction, we saw bubbles, which is an indicator of gas, meaning that actually something completely new was made um, because we did not have a gas in our starting materials. In our final reaction or, or mixture, it's a little less clear um, because we started with clear colorless liquids, when we mix them, we didn't see any fizzing or bubbles or color changes. Nothing really seemed to be that different. Um, and there also was just a clear colorless liquid at the end. So it seems like in this mixture, nothing new was made. Um, but it might be hard to tell just from looking at the macroscopic level um, at what we can see. We might need to look further at what is going on with the atoms and the atom groups in these different reactions. And that is where we are going to go next time. Before you go, I do want to talk quickly about what we saw here today. What we were seeing in some of these things was most likely a chemical reaction occurring. During a chemical reaction, one or more starting substances change into one or more different substances. So this is different uh, than a physical change. When we melt ice, as we saw in our phase change unit, you still have water as the substance that we are using. It just is in a different form. As we found out in our phase change unit, the molecules are just actually moving in a different way. When you shred paper or chop wood, you are changing the actual thing that you can see at the macroscopic level and the shape that these things are maybe in, but it is still paper and still wood. Chemical changes, on the other hand, mean that the substance has become something new. And it really seemed like today that we had done that in our investigations. However, as we learned in our first part of the unit, we know that we really need to look at the atomic and molecular level to understand whether substances are the same or different. It's all about the repeating atom or repeating atom group. In our next lesson, we will take one of the mixtures that we did today and take a look at it in the digital model to really see what was going on when we mix those substances together. Before you leave, I want you to think about how this might connect to our Westfield problem. Our brown substance, as we know, is rust this reddish brown powder um, that has been dissolved in the water. Our pipe is this brown kind of flaky substance um, that is a darker color than our, our rust. And our fertilizer is these white granules. Thinking about what you saw today, do you think that one of these things could have turned into the brown substance? Or perhaps, are these two things mixing and turning into the brown substance? What are your thoughts right now? If you're not sure yet, that's totally okay. We're going to co continue to collect evidence to figure out what is going on with this rust in the water in Westfield. See you next time.